Hi everybody. Today we're going to learn how to make recycled pop bottle gardens out of these two liter bottles right on our tiny little Vancouver balcony. Okay, so to start off with, these are the things you're going to need. Very simple. You need these recycled pop bottles, you need some water, some soil, compost, some optional, actually, uh, gravel, some rocks. You need a bungee cord type thing to attach your bottle to whatever structure you're going to use. We'll talk about that later. You might not even need anything to attach it with. We're trying to make this as simple as possible. So, you can all, there's two different shapes of bottles, and it's okay to use this strange shape, but it doesn't work as well. The bottom one, it has that shape. Actually, it kind of works fine. So that was an old Coke bottle. So we don't need this anymore. So we're gonna start off by just taking off the label. Okay. And the first thing you wanna do, we don't want to usually transplant in the blazing sun. So I'm just gonna leave this here. The pot plants don't really love it, it shocks them. First thing we're gonna do is leave the cap on to start because it kind of makes it harder and it's easier to make your first incision. I like to use the scissors because uh, I'm really good at hurting myself. So you can probably just use that knife for the whole thing. Cut off. There's actually a line on these bottles that makes it really easy to know where to cut it because you want to have a lot of the bottle left over so that you can put as much soil as possible for your uh, plants that you're going to put in here. So we start off with like this and you want to use shallow root, rooted type of plants when you're doing a pot bottle garden like this. Um, so lettuces, all kinds of herbs. This time I'm only I'm doing like a mixed salad type thing but last year I used uh, every herb you can possibly imagine. Strawberries, nasturtiums, probably do baby kale but uh, things that have deep roots won't like it in there so um, so then you want to grab some soil actually you'd probably mix it up first that would be the easiest thing but uh, just so that you can see I'd put half soil half compost last year I thought if I put too much compost it might clog it up because the idea of the pop bottle gardens Eventually you're taking this off and they all funnel into each other. So when you water the top, it'll go all the way down to the bottom. Oh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> Forgot to put the, uh... okay. I like to do this because I don't think it's that necessary, possibly. I'm just afraid that the soil will clog into the, the funnel. So uh, to make sure that water just filters through, I would go like that, so. Okay, back to this. You want to put lots of compost, but compost is kind of dense, so you want to mix it up with the potting soil. Yeah, I think you should probably just uh, mix this up beforehand, but I wanted to show you the different ingredients. Fill it up to about here, and because uh, you're going to want to stack them like that. Okay, and then I like to just water it while it's still has the cap on to make sure that uh, oops, <laughs> the water just gets really soaked in there for the first time. So you can see the water's just going right in there. Yeah, usually I fill this up and then I'll let it soak for, and while I'm doing the other ones, I'll just fill them all up like this with the cap on, let it soak in there really well. And then when I'm ready, the, the soil is all nice and moist. And then the water is going to obviously come out. Okay. You actually, you leave the, the last one. I'll show you after at the end again. The last one, you will leave the cap on because you don't want all the water flowing out. And uh, the water will actually come out your slit as well. So if you're afraid that the water is going to kind of stay stuck in there, it won't. It'll, it'll overflow. So, okay. It's going to get all wet. Usually I would let the water just... Okay, so the next... 
next part is you want to make your incision. So you'd want to do it right in the center of the bottle. Now it's a bit harder because the plastic isn't as hard as before. Again, I like to use the scissors. I tried making a really big hole and it works better if it's just a little slit because the soil will kind of fall out if it's too much. So I just go like that and make kind of a, make it kind of a couple inches long. It doesn't really matter. Your plant will grow so big that even if you do this messily, I'm a perfectionist and I like to make things all perfect, but your plant gets so big that uh, you won't even see. So then, get my seedling. You can't really start seeds in these. It's not gonna really work. So get your seedling out. And I like to do it straight, standing straight up. Well, actually it's hard if I hold it. So you push the, push the top in. Try to make it kind of go down straight. It's kind of hard at first. You think that you're gonna really hurt your plant, <laughs> but I did this last year and it, turn out really well but be careful with the roots a bit you know you don't want to mess around too much there we go so then push the soil down here like that and kind of straighten it out a bit more then you want to add a bit more soil okay it looks kind of funny now but so let me fix it a bit from the inside and push it so it's standing up straighter a bit. There we go. Okay, let's put some more soil. Okay, so once you've done all your bottles separately, you you then can go ahead and stack them. It's very simple. Let me just <laughs> Okay. So you can kind of make a little space for it here and you'll see they just nicely stack right on to each other like this there we go and they're actually quite heavy so I like to I found this kind of rack in a in an alley it's old and it's ugly but it really serves its purpose and I, I just tied it on with one of these uh, uh, bungee cord type things you can use zap straps but we really like to uh, not use single-use plastics, so it's better if you can find this kind of bobble bungee cord. And uh, yeah, so when you water it, it's going to be... This I would... I'm gonna maybe tie another one up here. This one's red, it's not as pretty as the other one. It's kind of moving around a lot. Something like that move it afterwards so now it's pretty stable I mean it's not going anywhere it's not very windy and then you water it from the top and you'll see it'll just come down each bottle it's really amazing and I put down here the end of one of my bottles to catch the water does come out through the top as you can see so it's drips out and uh oh this looks like you know, you might want a big plate here or something. I could also use a plate. Uh, it depends how much you care about your balcony getting dirty. Mine is very dirty. And um, yeah, I think that's it. You know, the plants are gonna be wilty looking at first. But yesterday when I planted these, they were all dangling down and, but now they're all healthy and perfect.